Hi all, welcome to the session where we are going to discuss about cleaning the data using an open source tool which goes by the name OpenRefine. So uh, OpenRefine was a Google project a few years back which has become open source project now. So how OpenRefine helps us is to uh, clean the data. Cleaning uh, one of the uh, use cases which, I, which we are going to uh, do today is uh, let's say an entity is represented in different ways in your data set. Let's say at one place uh, you would have mentioned as XYZ limited and in the next place you would have mentioned as XYZ LTD. So uh, we can combine uh, or uh, make the system understand that these two entries are the same entity because uh, OpenRefine helps us do that. So let's jump into the solution on how OpenRefine helps us do this. So OpenRefine is downloadable. From their URL, uh, you can pick the uh, version which suits your OS and download uh, that particular version. And it kind of runs like an EXE. And once you run it, it opens up in your local host, similar to your Jupyter notebooks. And uh, so, in this, so this is the landing page of OpenRefine. So let me quickly uh, open uh, uh, the input uh, file which we are going to perform the data cleaning exercise today. So this is my open. Uh, so once I open the CSV file, once I choose the file and press next, it uploads the data and it provides me the sample uh, sample records. So essentially, this is uh, Department of Justice uh, data available, uh, which is which is freely downloadable over the net. Uh, so it has a particular case ID for each of the uh, company's name along with the company name. To. The company name will be given by trade underscore NM, legal underscore name, etc. So let me create a project for this particular exercise and let me select 50 rows. So there are in my input data set, we are having close to uh, 7,860 rows of data with different case IDs, uh, trade names, and legal names. So let's take an example where multiple cases are present for different entries. So let me take this example over here. Uh, there's something called Lease Shiloh Farms INC uh, for the legal name. And also there's one more case ID, which goes again by uh, Lease Shiloh Farms INC. So as seen here, uh, a dot is missing in both these entries. A full stop towards the end of the name is missing. Let's assume uh, that the address is the same. Uh, but however, uh, since the uh, full stop is missing, they are treated as two different entries. So using open refine, we can combine these two into a single legal name. So let's do, let's see how to do that. So for each of the column, we do have a drop down menu. Let's uh, run the uh, clustering or grouping for legal name. Let's go to something called the facet and let's open text facet. So as seen here, Let's, let me open uh, this example of 365 electrician INC. So as seen here, the 365 electrician INC has a comma, comma, the names are the same. Uh, and uh, we do have a different case ID. Maybe the reason being the address is different here. So let me add electrician INC as well. As seen here, there are no uh, uh, commas or full stops when compared to this the other entry which I had showcased. Now let me do a clustering for all this. OK, uh, thing gone wrong. Let me close this. Let me select the text facet. And let me do the clustering. As seen, by default, the moment I selected that particular legal name column entry, the clustering is automatically done. OpenRefine does that for us. For example, let's take the case of Walmart, comma, INC, walls, hyphen, mart, comma, INC. All are uh, mapped into a single cluster. Let's browse this cluster. So as seen here, uh, we do have different addresses. But as you can see, the names must have been the same. So for this clusters, in this way, for each of the legal name, uh, which are similar in spelling with very minute differences with respect to the special characters used or uh, spaces used, open refine does the clustering automatically. What we can do is we can merge them 
by uh, selecting the clusters which need to be merged or we can select all the clusters at one go and press merge selected and recluster so what happens is once i do this see as you can see i no longer have that entry of electrician uh, space inc without the special characters they get automatically replaced with the entry which is making uh, which combines all three into the same legal name so this is how open refine helps us in kind of uh, kind of spell check removing unnecessary characters or ad adding new characters where the characters were missed so that we have the same entity name across our data set thank you